So bands is broken to start the 10 days. Then who got fed while the two staffs were both in God's hands? It has to be something before Christ came. Had to be. Has to be. It's impossible now, not 10 years and two, you know, two months ago, but it's impossible now to read it other than things were made plain, the mystery of God was cleared up, and th it looks like three messages over a period of 14 days before the 10 days start. You get to 24. Three messages over 14 days. That was also in one month, but the way God chooses to tell us in verse Three, uh, eight is that three guys die too. So it's like A, B, C. Now we have three days to go. We got 11 days down in the month. We're into the 12th now. So we're a little into the 12th. So we got three more days. And then you start the 10 before you get to the end of the 24th. Now, if it's sequential, and I say if, this is a cryptic verse. If it's sequential, let me tell you something that would be true. God says, I fed them, and I also cut off three guys in one month. Now, do you mean you cut them off when Christ came, or they died before that? They died maybe after the 11 days? They haven't died yet. Do they die in the next three days as a, as a signal? There's no evidence that any bad guys are active. <clears throat> Now, God would know that if there were three living men, there's no way God would raise three men out of the ground and execute them. They have to be alive. They hate me and I, I loathe them, God says. So God would know that I would know them and ultimately be able to deduce some things. Three that I think of do abhor the true God, but there are more than one way to have to know who they are. I'm certainly not going to say to you, but RCG might need to know this. If these guys die in the next three days, we've removed all doubt and God would know this. And I can't tell because it's so cryptic. If they die in the next three days, nobody will doubt that Christ is coming and God destroys them. He says he destroys them. He, he cuts them off. We would know we're in the micron and the month because we're the, we're the poor of the flock in verse 7. We're not the poor of the flock 10 days later who wait for God on the day of the Lord in that day. Verse 11, that's a different group. There's a, there's a little group that goes first, which is another timing issue. Where do you put that? Who goes first? <laughs> now, I told Laodicea 10 years ago very loudly about these guys would this event be to warn, to jolt them too? Would God shock the world but not break the thief event? Christ comes as a thief. Those are questions. They're not statements. I don't know the answer. Now, if it's at, if it's at Christ's coming, there's no visible purpose because they died just three of them. Now, they're not millions and millions of shepherds who die 10 days later or 11 or 12 days later, or I guess you could say even 13 if it were tonight, I don't know. But if it was before Christ got here, it would be a powerful last mile marker for us. Yes, that would be true. Now, no other explanation arises. That's the best I can tell you, but it is possible that this describes the flock being fed, number one, for 11 days. Number three, number three, the 10 days to the day of the Lord. And three days in between, number two, three guys die in a big, little, or small way. But it has to be known or it won't, it won't achieve any purpose. We'd have to know it. And then the only question is how big does God want the ripples to go out from this event? If they die together... In a, in a common event, but not, I mean, in a common moment, but not necessarily a common event. And God wants it to be known in a big way. Uh, often the way God uh, deals with his enemies is he burns them alive. Now, if that's the way he did it, I don't know that. Uh, that would be a significant event. So I, I, I just leave you with that.